Um, in regards to you saying um, we should get rid of welf welfare and public housing, what would happen uh, if we if we were to do that? Then that would leave a lot of people without uh, proper means to get educations and and live in a suitable home. Well, I like, don't. Oh, go ahead. But so if you, if you would just take that away, complete right right now, you'd have to come up with some other system to kind of wean wean it off of. <laughs> Of the welfare, am I correct? Yeah, I've got a great other system. <laughs> it's called free enterprise. It but worked very well. It works across nations, across peoples. If the black family were intact, they wouldn't need the welfare that ruined their black family in the first place. Now, public housing is a horrendous sort of a thing. The reason we got into public housing is we had rent control, which ruined the private market. See, a lot of times you get this modality where the government interferes and says, aha, the market isn't working. It's a market failure, but it was because of the government interference in the first place. And then they say, well, we have to fix that up. And then we have to fix that up. And I have all these theories about, well, uh, we can't build public housing high, and we can't build it wide, or whatever. Uh, Jane Jacobs is my guru on public housing, and what she says is that uh, public housing has got two... Hey, Patrick, how's it going? I didn't, didn't notice you. An old student of mine. Uh, she said there are two problems. One is they have this inveterate hate of commerce. In public housing, you never see stores anywhere, like on the ground floor. In a lot of large cities, the high-rise has on the first floor stores. And what he says is that this takes eyes off the street because when there's commerce, people are going in and out, you can look. And in public housing, there's nothing to look, so you don't get the yenta, Y-E-N-T-A, the Yiddish word, old lady who looks down and calls the police if there's any problem. So, so Jane Jacob says it's much less safe. But then the other thing is public housing has a cutoff point. In other words, poor people can't go into public housing. Only, uh, rather, only poor people can go in public housing. So what happens is intact families don't get in there in the first place because their income is too high to get in there. So what you have is female-headed households with no adult males. Uh, there was this movie, um, Lord of the Flies, where society was the way a 12-year-old would like it to be. Well, public housing is the way a 16-year-old boy would like to have it. Uh, according to Jane Jacobs, if I can extrapolate from her. So what you need is uh, adult male head of families in there, and, and they're automatically excluded. So public housing is, is a horror. Uh, it's socialist housing. Didn't we learn anything from the, the dissipation of the Soviet Union? I mean, this is just Sovietized housing. Social security is <laughs> Sovietized security. You know, uh, social medicine or uh, health care is Sovietized health care. If we would get rid of it all and, and move toward a free enterprise system, black people and all people would be much better off. This is not an attack on black people. This is not an attempt to push people, black people down. This is an attempt to push black people up. But in order to see it, you have to see why black people are in, in the straits that they're in now. And the big reason is that their family is messed up, and the big reason for that is welfare. So don't think that, you know, oh, the, yes, oh, the poor black family right now, if they were the way they are, they really need welfare, they need support because they're in such dire circumstances, but they're in dire circumstances because of what the government did to them. So if we can get the government to stop doing this to them, then they wouldn't need the help. Look, we didn't have welfare before 1930, 1965 is when it really got going. We didn't have it much before that, it was very, very little. This is the Charles Murray Losing Ground book. Black people weren't dying in the streets. They had roughly intact families. They were doing, I won't say fine, but they were doing pretty well. You, you didn't have this crisis then. So don't look upon welfare as the savior of the poor. Look upon it as the oppressor of the poor.